welcome back to Sing A Secret. I'm Nicola Milan. Um, today we're going to be doing a dominant seven arpeggio exercise. Last time we were together, I took you through a major seventh scale arpeggio exercise. So today we're going to do a dominant seventh exercise. Let me just close the door. I love where I live, but my neighbour is a twat. He is a twat, an inconsiderate twat that plays really crap music very loudly. Anyway, um, okay, so dominant seventh. This is basically a flattened seven. So I'll put a link to the last video that I did with the major seven so you can kind of get your head around these extensions. These are basically chord extensions that we start to look at in jazz and blues. Especially in blues, we use um, a lot of dominant seven chords. Um, you know, if you're doing. That's kind of like dominant seven sound. That's the dominant seven sound compared to the major seven, which is a much prettier and happier sound. Hear the difference? produces quite a bluesy sort of sound. It's a little bit more of an unfinished chord, so it kind of makes you feel like you're ready to go somewhere else after you play a dominant seven, whereas you play a major seven, it resolves. So there's different uses for different chords in music. Um, so the dominant seven, especially for singers, if you've never sung this before, it's really going to screw around with your ear because you'll be like, <laughs> most singers are used to doing a major scale. So you're used to doing all of the major notes. But now we're going to flatten the seventh. So this is our regular seventh. But we're going to go instead. So it's going to sound like this. Listen again to the major seventh. flattening the seventh. So we're going to do an arpeggio, we're going to do it together um, and I highly recommend after you've done, if you haven't done the major one with the major seventh um, exercise, do that first and then do this one and that will really kind of give your ear a shake up, you'll be like whoa. Um, Alright, so we're going to start on F below middle C. As usual guys or girls with different vocal ranges just pick this exercise up when it hits your range and it's going to sound like this. Sorry, that was major. We'll do that again. It'll sound like this. What a lot of singers find is because you've kind of gone a little bit minor on the top of the scale. Um, so if I was to do, and stop me if I'm going too fast here. Um, actually, you can't stop me, this is on YouTube. But um, if you, a lot of singers will find that they want to go minor on the way back down. They want to go. They want to kind of do that on the way down because the the seventh, the flat and seventh is actually kind of part of the minor scale. If you've never done this stuff before, so you really got to concentrate on the thirds and the seventh, with, which really are your kind of your anchor notes in any scale. They kind of produce. The, the general feel and sound of the scale, your seventh and your thirds. Right, here we go. Big deep breath in. Let's do another breath. Okay, here we go.
by yourself. material which I will link down below otherwise um thank you so much for watching I will see you next time <laughs>